Okay, good. The segment. Northern Immigration Pilot Project to be made permanent if uh, if our liberal MP has her way. So both of us are familiar with this uh, this program. Hopefully, people listening are aware of what's going on the last few years. There's been a push to bring more immigrants up to the north Mm -hmm. for a lot of reasons. One of the reasons is there's not enough people here to fulfill demand for things like building houses and, uh, you know, lots of lots of different tasks. We just don't have enough people in skilled labor. For sure. And that's that's an ongoing issue. And we've, problem. and we've made a pledge to, you know, up our immigration as a country, right? So we, for sure, we have like quotas to fill of how many, you know, immigrants we want to have move to Canada. Now, mm-hmm. what happens is with the immigrants, though, is they want to go, and, and I don't blame them, they want to go to larger centers. Well, that's usually where the opportunities are. That's what I mean, right? right? And maybe family members and people Absolutely. of their culture. So obviously makes a lot of sense. They want to go to Toronto. They want to go to Montreal. I think Toronto and Vancouver, Vancouver, 50% of immigrants end exactly. up in those two cities. Exactly. Yeah. So the government's initiative was to, instead of have that take place, why not incentivize? Yeah, that's what uh, it is. It's not forcing. Yeah. No. No. In- incentivize those who are new to this country to not um, go to the larger centers, but give the smaller communities a chance and while they're there, basically for the uh, s- shorter period, well, whatever period of time, like what is it, two years or a year, mm-hmm. their hopes are that they get integrated somehow. They find employment, they meet friends, and they feel, well, you know, this could be... I could stay here permanently. I could stay here, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, for me, I think the prospect's really attractive to someone coming to the country because the cost of living is lower here on things like housing, um, you know, access to different things. But your income is pretty much the same when it comes to like what we were talking about, like services, skilled labor. Yeah. Your income is pretty competitive in those things. Now, we don't have a lot of the employment opportunities that exist further south. So if you have a college degree, for instance, and we've both kind of encountered this, there's definitely not as much opportunity for someone in that position. Correct. College or university degree. This is a blue collar, I would say, what, you know, mostly a blue collar area. Yeah. But if you've got the skills and, or you're willing to be trained in the skills at somewhere like Cambrian College, this is the perfect place for you. It's cheaper to live here. You can afford a home here. You know, it's a pretty yeah, attractive prospect. Industries usually pay a, a pay certain amount pretty good. per industry, right? So if you're exactly. in a certain industry and you're living in a bigger center like Toronto, you're going to be making whatever that industry, industry pays. Rate. And yeah. you could be living in Sudbury making the same thing and like you said the cost of living is even though it's getting higher because of inflation and all other kinds of things and our housing is going up and all that gas it still is way cheaper because toronto all those same costs are going up just the same way we're going up in parallel so it still is cheaper in sudbury um you spend what 10 minutes in your car getting commuting to anywhere 15 minutes yeah, you could save a lot of life there uh yeah life uh you know quality of life mm-hmm. here compared to a big city so, so anyways it makes a lot more sense to and it gives more them more spending power as well that's what i think you know so mm-hmm. they they're able to save up maybe buy a house quicker yeah more affordable here than it would be down there so yeah establishing those roots in some of our smaller northern communities absolutely man it's to me, it's a really attractive prospect, and uh, I mean, we haven't really pointed out what the program is, um, and there's it's a, it's a multifaceted thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the article on Sudbury.com today talks about um, basically like covering some of the costs of staying in a hotel here if you want to move here for the, for a job, covering some of the living expenses here um, if uh, if you get an apartment, so. It's mostly to do with the housing, and we do have a housing shortage here. So, if it, you know, to take the opposite position, yep. somebody might look at this and say they're on purpose making the housing problem worse by incentivizing people, and that means they'll be able to outcompete someone that wants to live here without the subsidy. 
Yeah. So I definitely see the other side of it. I just think that this is good for somewhere like Sudbury. Like even think of think of a friend. Again, this take the other side of it, but think of a friend who's from a very small town who moved to Sudbury because Sudbury was like a great prospect for them. There was more opportunities for them here than there was in the original community. You know, there's no incentive for them to move here. There's no uh, small town initiative for them to stay in a hotel or to get an apartment. So I can see that side of the argument. Mm -hmm. But again, if you're able to get the skills, if you're able to go to a college program, get the certificate, whatever you need to get a job in whatever industry that's needed, you know, why should you don't need a subsidy? No. The subsidy is to kind of get the ball rolling, maybe tell people this is an option. And then it will take care of itself from there. So, yeah, exactly. That's what I see it as. Yep. I, I don't I, think it's going to be in perpetuity. They are looking for funding from now on to be in perpetuity. You know, that's kind of how the government works. But uh, I don't think the program will be necessary after a certain point. Yeah, it's true. And, and that's why it's a pilot project. But they're they're looking at you know making it more permanent. 